Hey there, Sam. When you visit a website, there's actually a lot of things going on behind the scene. Before we dive into details, let's learn about some of the common terminology in web development. First of all, we have servers. Servers are just some giant machine sitting inside a cloud and perform some task. For example, serving a website. Domain names are just the name of the website, so google.com and acadia.io are example of domain names. IP address is the web address of a server. They are usually in a format as shown here. So when you're visiting a website, your browser is actually using this IP address behind the scene to talk to a web server and download the web content. But the issue is IP addresses are very hard for human eyes to read. In order to make it easier to read, we usually bind a domain name to an IP address. So domain name is just a human readable form of an IP address. And lastly, we have DNS. So DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it is very similar to an address book. It is where we store all the mappings for the IP addresses against their domain names. All right, let's make it concrete. Let's say you're somewhere outside and you want to call a taxi to go back home. So IP address is like the address of your house and the browser is like the Uber or taxi driver. And domain name is like the name of your house. So when you tell the taxi driver, hey, I want to go home, the taxi driver will look up on the DNS, aka the address books, or even better, the GPS, and find your address in there. Once the address is found, it will start driving slash connecting to your house slash server. And that's pretty much it. And here's the simplified overview on the steps taken to connect to a server. Once again, if we want to connect to google.com, we first looked up the IP address on DNS. And once it is found, the browser will start downloading content from that server. There are two main branches in web development, the front end and the back end. Front end is more like what you see in the browser, and backend is more on handling data and connecting the dots together to form an actual app. What are we going to focus on this course is the front end. And in the next video, we're going to start learning the differences between HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and also making our first website. I'll see you there.